Okay, so this is a weekly love reading for Aquarius. I do have something new on my channel, which is going to be journal prompts, which is going to be listed down below for the um, foreseeable future for 2022. Um, and your you know, journal prompts for this week is going to be, they did not come this year, dot, dot, dot. So this could actually um, sort out a lot of feelings about certain people or certain things that you're going through and certain issues that you've had in the past, which could actually help you sort out a lot of things that are going on right now. So, you know, hopefully it's good. But I know few people are, <laughs> like, do the journal things. Usually they talk about... Uh, politics or other topics that are related to politics or um, certain events that are going on in the world right now. So it depends on what kind of journal you're writing, okay? Anyway, we have some spiritual AF cards as well. So this could help you with, you know, just uh, feeling a little bit better because the spiritual AF cards are, you know, fantastic. We have Love like people aren't total assholes. <laughs> I feel like you need that. And then we have, um, shit you don't have time for, people shit, crazy shit, bullshit, stupid shit, fake shit, shit that has nothing to do with you, so stay out of other people's businesses. Or just, uh, don't entertain people that kind of want to throw you off or become a distraction or become crazy. Anyway, once you start laughing, you start healing. So, you might need some laugh relief. You might need to watch some comedians. Or watch some cat videos. I watch cat videos. They're funnier. Anyway, so manifest the F out of your dreams. You can learn a lot of good lessons from a very few fucked up people, such as myself. Um, I, I have some stories. Anyway, so, let's see, grab life by the balls and make it your bitch. And then we have, think twice before you give a fuck. Always fun. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> we have the first card, which is going to be your love theme for the week. Your love theme of the week is going to be the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups in reverse is the hope for the future, a good companion, a reunion of an old friend, a truth between a enemy. So you might actually run into somebody from your past. Or, you know, some, some, uh, something's gonna happen. You know, you could be with your partner and you might meet up with an old friend or old associate or whatever. Or just have a good conversation. You know, just have fun. Or you might meet up with an ex, which, all the drama. All the drama. Anyway, so number two is going to be Love Challenge, which is going to be the fool in reverse. So, no decision at all, faltering in a quest, not caring if a decision is reached. So, I feel like there might be kind of not firm standards or firm stability in the relationship. I feel like it might be a little bit loosey-goosey. But, um, yeah, it just feels like there's not anything holding you down to the floor. Usually with the fool, there's some type of, hey, I'm going to do this. It's a new beginning. But with the fool upside down, there's a little bit of unbalance here. Or there might be a lot of stuff that's kept secret or not 100% up front. Okay? So there might be a little bit of a, a different tone to that. Um, so number three is your lesson in all this. We have the magician in reverse. The magician in reverse is being easily influenced a lack of will, personal gain at the expense of others. So you might, um, uh, 
he might actually be easily manipulated by the chance of being either popular or being like in contact with somebody from your past and that might actually put a rift between you and your current partner or it might actually put a rift on potential things coming in so you know some people mess up everything you know so it's probably best that you don't entertain it you know anyway number four we have their lesson so this is your partner's lesson or this person that you're talking to that could be an ex uh, we have Six of Cups, so thoughts of childhood, nostalgia, the sweetness of a memory, a desire for the old without measuring the true worth of the past, at times the future. So there's somebody here who kind of is reminiscing on the past, and it's probably either your person that you have now, or it's probably your ex. It's probably both. But there's, there's some really deep-seated feelings here, alright? So, number five, we have Growth Zone. Growth Zone is going to be the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a warm, loving person, absent-minded, but a unique vision. A good parent or friend, a sought-after advisor, practical, honest, happy, a poetic, and loved. So... That could be me. But growth zone. Usually you kind of have to kind of deal with certain issues. So you might have to deal with certain issues of jealousy, revenge. Um, cer certain things that you do that you do like all the time to certain people. You give people the benefit of the doubt. And you don't really have any firm boundaries. That could be some of your issues. Anyway, number six, we have sex and romance. We have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a version or a vision of imaginary flaws. Not wanting what is offered. A former bad choice which influences all future choices. A need for perfection and stagnation of a period of life. So there's somebody here. Like I said, it's a third-party situation. You might not want to entertain your ex or somebody from your past, but I feel like it's playing an influence in how you see yourself and how you see your relationship currently. Um, so this bad influence might actually be buttering you up. Be very careful. Um, so <laughs> oh, when you flex, you flex. Um, but anyway... There's some nostalgia here, and I think you like to buy into a lot of the nostalgic things. And I feel like your ex knows that, if it's your ex. Also, if you have a friend or coworker, they probably know that as well. So they want to constantly, you know, kind of move you in their favor or be able to manipulate you in some way for their own gain. So just be very careful. I feel like you can be easily manipulated by nostalgic things or the fact that this person is back in your life to some degree. Um, really playing to the heartstrings. Anyway, um, Aquarius, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And I wouldn't bait the trolls, if you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, it might be good memories, but it's kind of in the past, so... Remember that. Some things need to stay in the past because they bring back a lot of old baggage. Alright, so be careful. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully this helps you out. And uh, later.